The Elation of Tom Morgan There are tales of the Yukon bush, I'm told, that would still a man's heart and make his blood run cold. But none impresses me a fraction of the one in which I saw the action. It all began in Whitehorse, hub of the Yukon, in a pub where my lover and I met Tom Morgan. Tom was a young prospector. Klondike Gold was his aim, and he was heading to Dawson to stake out a claim. You're welcome to join me, he said with a grin, but beware of the bush. We'll be going deep in. And so we set out in Tom's truck without any fears, with provisions for three and a case of cold beers. Mountains and forests and rivers ran wide in a vast country, untamed and untried. It was almost midnight, the sky like a lamp, when we arrived where we thought we'd base camp. It was a shock to see a man and his son where moments ago there'd been no one. The elder stepped forward to speak. What are you doing up here at the creek? Tom smiled and shook the man's hand. We've come to stake out a bit of land along Fireweed Creek away. Thought we'd camp here today. Said the man, this parcel is ours and I'm the one who pushed through this road. Son, up a ways a trailer you'll come upon. We've finished the season, we're moving on. You can stay if you please. Then the hike to Fireweed will be more of a breeze. Just leave the place locked clean behind you. Don't want any bears busting through. With thanks to the man and his son, we found the cabin as night had begun. Tom felt for the key on a ledge where the man said. We let ourselves in, supped, then went to bed. We slept like babes that night, dreaming of all the gold nuggets we'd find at Tom's sight. Early next morning, the sky dark with rain, we set foot on that boggy terrain. We followed the creek on tundra, soggy like sponges, the morning cool and foggy. We searched the elusive sun's gleam of gold along the creek under rocks where the water ran cold. We panned up the creek and had lunch, then moved up to the ridge based on Tom's hunch. To the mountaintop we made our way, testing the rock outcrops for golden spray. And with all our laughing and banging on stone, you'd think a creature could leave us alone. When all the sounds of life went cold, we felt the mountain shake and fold as a grizzly charged, the intent to kill, naked in his gaze, as he flew crossed the hill. Bear, cried my lover, who sprang off in a heat. I knew I was the straggler. That bear wanted my meat. The beast came like a nightmare, bolting near to a cliff where I stood, frozen in fear. The first shot stunned the grizzly to his surprise. He still planned to get me, I saw in his eyes. Tom fired again, the bear reeled back, his body shuddering, as though he still meant to attack. Then Tom fired again. The bear toppled like brick. A feeling of murder made me feel sick. As that bear twitched and his spirit ebbed away, it meshed with mine. It's there to this day. There are tales of the Yukon bush, I'm told, that would still a woman's heart and make her blood run cold. But none impresses me a fraction of the one in which I saw the action, and I'll never think of bears again without remembering the brave Tommy Morgan.